Alright guys, welcome back to another episode from the world of Alandria. Today guys, we have some epic stuff happening, some epic stuff planned. We are going to be doing some enchanting books. We are also going to be checking out the um, gate that we were working on in the previous episode that I've done a little more work on. And we are going to be creating a system for getting a ton of cobblestone and converting it automatically into, sand, um, into stone so we can make stone brick. So guys, sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's jump in, shall we? So, okay, first things first, we have some enchanting books to do to um, enchant. Let me just get my armor back on. Um, so, we have some enchanting books to do. Uh, let's see, let me drop a few lapis in here just so we can make sure we have more than enough. Okay, so, we have 20 enchanting books and we have 27 levels. So I want to see what we can get out of these, because I don't want to lose these levels really. Um, okay, power 2, that seems like a good start. It's not bad at all. Unbreaking 1, it's not too bad. Efficiency 2, uh, and Aqua Affinity, that would be... That's a bit of a pain, because you can only either have one or the other. Um, sharpness 2, it's not bad. Fire Aspect 1. <coughs> Mind you, we are going to have to combine some of these. Bane of Astropods. Uh, another bane of acetopods. Uh, let's go protection one, knock back one, and projectile protection. Now we're going to have to drop some of these off in a chest which we do not have made. Um, let me just create two chests. I'll check that out, put that there, and I'll just quickly put down this chest right here just so we can have a little bit of a storage area for this. Okay. So let's do that. Should put the blaze rod back in there. Now we'll finish off this. Probably should have thought that instead of a start. I'm breaking one. I'm breaking one. Sweeping edge. Don't have enough levels. Okay, so that was an okay start for this. Um, got a fair amount of books out of that. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, we do have. Let's. let's do some, I thought I had more books than that. Did I not do more books than that? Maybe I didn't. Okay, so we do have a few that we'll combine now. So, for example, we have two Bane of Arthropods and two Unbreaking. Do we have anything else? Um, don't think so. So let's combine these two. These will be two levels each. Yes. And Unbreaking two. There we go. Okay, so we are going to try and get Epic Armor off that. So, as I said, we are going to go and check out... Um, our gate that we were doing in we were building in the last episode. I've done a little bit of work on it and I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. Um I I kind of was going for a little bit of a medieval style castle as, as like a medieval style gate. As you know I'm trying to make this world futuristic but also medieval. So like aspects of both have been part of this world. Um but yeah so let's just hit over here and we will see the gate that we have made. You'll be able to see it in, in the distance in just a second. There you go. I have done a little bit of work. You can start sort of see what I've been doing. Um, so I was thinking, gates normally have defences and since this is a big city, this would have pretty good defences I reckon. So I thought, how about putting on either side, I forgot what they're called, are they called turrets? I think they're called turrets. The, he, he died anyway, apparently. Um, so I put on either side what I call turrets, because I'm pretty sure that's the right name for them. And these turrets are going to be our defenses. And I just realised there's a block down here that doesn't need, isn't supposed to be here. There we go. Um, the only problem being is that the water is now flooding, sort of. But yeah, um, these turrets will be a lot taller than our main gate itself, and they're kind of like a defensive. They are. They are a defensive thing. Um, but the thing is, I'm running out of stone brick, which is why we're going to get onto automatically creating stone for stone brick. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of like our defenses for the, the gate, which I, as you can see, I've done a little bit more work on. I didn't like how weirdly the shape of the arch was looking so I came in and I did a little bit of work and I think that's a lot better 
I was thinking about widening it a little, widening the gate a little more, but I decided not to because this is going to be a uh, multi multi gate sort of thing. So the the there'll be a gate here too. So there will be another arch here, and in between that will be um, some defenses that I'd like to set up, which I think you guys will enjoy at some point when we get around to actually making that. I'm gonna have I've got a few ideas for that, and I, yeah, in fact one just came to my head. Um. Anyway, so that's what I've got here. These, that's what these turrets are. These are going to be a lot taller than they are now, and hopefully we, we've got to fill it cover in this sand, um, in this water too. But yeah, we'll get around to that. And hopefully these will just make this place look a little more safer than it's going to be. Um, the other thing is we've got to make walls come off here, and the what size of the walls is going to be? I think I worked it out five blocks wide but then there will be an extra edge right at the top where um, archers can shoot down from and such um, so yeah I'm saying I'm a lot aren't I? It makes it sound like I don't know what I'm doing it might help if I also don't fall down the, um, the turrets so that's that's what I'm doing here the thing is we're going to need an awful lot of stone brick for this build because this is pretty much all going to be out of stone brick. The only areas that won't be will be the actual buildings and um, the roads won't be out of stone brick. And there might be a few other things that aren't stone brick, but I haven't gotten around to that at this point. So we're going to need a way to get that stone. And I've thought of a really cool idea. Um, let's see if I can explain this correctly. So there is a... Uh, this little setup you can do which makes infinite cobblestone and we already know that we have a, a way of turning that cobblestone into um, stone which is what we're going to need in the final that's like the the second last stage of turning it into stone brick smashing it into, cob into stone the thing is how are we going to convert can get that cobblestone to go into our smeltery well, I've thought of a really cool thing. The thing is, we are going to have to stand at the cobblestone smelter and just constantly break blocks until our, our, either our inventory full fills up or something else. And I had something really cool in mind for that. So let me just get set up here and I will bring you right, right back after this very short break. See you in a sec. Alright, so I'm on my way to get the final piece of this. I've already basically set, the, set it up. Um, I just realized that we need one final thing to make this work efficiently. And it is an ice, it is obsidian. Um, so yeah, let's, let's just quickly grab this. It's a lot quicker when you have an efficiency pick too. So, um, let's hit up here. And we'll come over here. So let, let me just quickly show you what I've done uh, once we get there. Um, up here, da, da, da. here we go. So it's pretty simple, um, but, but you'll see in a sec when we get up out of this place. Okay guys, so welcome back. This is the setup that I have. Um, it's very simple actually. And I just want to quickly put this right there. Okay, so how this works is the lava um, doesn't like it when water tries to flow into the same block as it. So the lava is flowing out to this point. So it is trying to get out here. But the water, when it interacts with flowing lava, turns it into cobblestone. Now this system is helpful because if we we can just sit here and break it, and if we can also the, the obsidian helps us stop breaking any extra blocks, but it also stops the cobblestone from getting past it. And yes, some of the cobblestone is going into lava again, but I'm not really worried about that. Then what happens is there's a hopper under here. Here you go, and this hopper picks up any items that gets dropped there. So 
In this case, it will get cobblestone. Now this hopper is connected to this hopper, which is then connected to this chest. So this chest is automatically getting filled up with cobblestone. And all we have to do is sit here and just hold down the button and it will drop into the hopper and then into the chest and it will also smell. So if we come down here, let's just come down here and I'll show you. These are getting filled up. See we got 8 and 8 and this one, now it's in 7. If we keep mining just a little bit, it will slowly go back up. So we're mining faster than it can actually create cobbles, um, than it can actually smelt it. So we should, let me just drop off this cobblestone in here. We should be able to get a full chest before it's done like half a chest. Oops, nope, nope. Yeah, that happens when you're too quick to move and when you've got such an OP pick. Occasionally it does drop into here, but it's not the end of the world. And if we look in here now, we have... Oh, well, that's filling up on its own. But yeah, it is it is slowly getting filled up. So it's a really simple little um, machine, but it's actually quite helpful. And the only problem is we're not actually getting any XP off this. Now, if we, we wanted to, we could disconnect these hoppers and just grab it straight out of here when it's cooked. Um, we'll have to work out some sort of XP grinder so we can mend this pick. But this is a pretty efficient way of doing it. So I might just sit here for a little while guys and we'll get some more cobblestone and let it smelt and then I will head back over to the gate and we can I can show you a bit of what I've got planned there. So guys we'll see you in just a sec. Alright guys, so yes, as you can see it's working away, we've got a good amount of cobblestone coming through here and it's all working out okay. Um, yeah, that system is working quite well. It's a little slow, but things are, okay. things are allowed to be slow. So let me just drop the stuff here and we will create for ourselves some more cobblestone, um, no, more stone brick. Okay, let's just do that and do it again and there we go. Okay, so it's night time, we don't want to be out when it's night time. Actually, yes we do, because we want bones and such. I forgot about that. Okay, let's drop that off, and we'll get out our bow. And how many hours do we have? 22. It's okay. It's okay for now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to take you guys back to the gate, and we're going to do some work there. Hopefully nothing will blow us up, and hopefully we'll be good. Hopefully. There's a lot of hopefully from that. Um, yeah, I want to do more work here as well. I'm, how, am I, how am I missing you? I'm not missing you. There we go. Um, yeah, I want to do more work here. I just haven't felt like I'm... Oh, hello. 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 You want to go? I haven't felt like I'm on really at a point where I want to like I do things when I feel like I need when I feel like I'm ready to and I haven't felt ready to do any more work on that just yet. I mean if, if I forced myself to do it it'd probably turn out really bad and we don't want that. We want things to look as good as they can. Hi creeper. Nope, nope. Not blowing up my awesome road. These mobs never learn, do they? Come on, how much health do you have? Okay, so we are almost back there. Let's just come over here. Okay, so it, it looks quite good at the moment. I mean, I want to do a little more work on it. Let me just grab out a bed so we can sleep. We don't want things to attack us while we're working. Oops, sorry. Hope that wasn't too loud. Um, so what I'm thinking is, we won't worry about the turret for now. We'll just focus on actually getting things working. There we go. He's dead. I like getting XP from them. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, we're going to set this up. 
but let me give you a bit of an idea of how I'm thinking this will go. So we're going to have a second um, thing here. So this will be in line with that. And then we go up one, do the exact same thing all the way across, including the other side. Uh, and there. Nope. Oh well, I'll fix it up from this side. I do that. I, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so there. And then we go across and we break that. And we go up and across. And we break that. And thump. then that should be it. Here we go. Okay, so this is how I want things to go. But in the middle, we're going to have this slightly further out. So this will come up one block higher. So this will come to uh, this point. We can break this. Although I don't think we really need to break that because, yeah, it's not going to be in the way at the moment. Um, now I might remove one of these because I want a gate sort of thing so that we can have like a actual gate set up. I know there's a way that you can do that and I think I would like to try and get that happening but I'm not sure how easy it is to do. I'll have to do a bit of research. So again on this side go one, two, and then there, then there. We just keep doing this all the way up. Let's grab another lot of stone brick. As you can see we have a fair amount now. Way more than we would have had. And then we go across, and there. Now on the inside of this, I want a few different things. So I want a lava trap, just in case enemies come in and they try and get through the gate, we can drop lava on them. Then I want the gate itself, and then I want an arrow trap. So anything that's left over will die in the arrow traps. In the, from the arrows. The arrows I want to come up from the bottom so we'll have some sort of system where um, maybe the road will drop down and then back and then arrows will fire up. Not too sure about that we'll have to do a bit of looking into that but I hope, I'm hope i hoping that's a cool system or we could do always do lava arrows then gate because then they if they're here they're like get let us in they're trying to break the gate then the arrow fire up and they go well ow that hurt <laughs> you, you get what I mean um so I reckon that looks pretty good we kind of I wonder if let me just try and get around the other side of this so yeah so much for that <laughs> we'll just do this the old-fashioned way break through things Okay, so we got a uh, um, crafting table here. Let me just grab some gates. Oh, we already have some. I'm making more than I need. Okay, let's run up here and we'll set up a little bit of a scaffolding platform just so we can work. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I wonder how this would look. If we do that, do we do it on the other side too? Or is it just this side? I think that looks pretty good. I mean, you can kind of tell that it, on the inside it's different, but I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing that that's that way. Okay, let's see. That's pretty good. And can you see it? Um, so I think that's going to be our gate. Now the actual wall. Uh, let me get this try and give you an idea of how tall the wall will be. So the actual wall will come up, so this cylinder will come up, um, this turret sorry, will come up to, let me check the colors, here was it 80? Yeah it was 80. So this, these turrets will come up to level 80 and I don't think I can make this back down. Should we try? Let's gonna try. Oh yeah we got that. Cool. Okay, so that's how tall the actual turrets will be. The walls themselves will be to level 75, if I worked that out right. Let me just come up here and we'll try here. So, level 75 is that point. 
think that's right. Maybe that one was 85. I don't remember entirely. But this is where the levels will come up. So you can imagine the walls coming around there. And then beside that, um, the mountain over there. And then it circles back around and comes out over here. Although I am thinking we kind of we might not go too far that way because the quarry is just over that hill. So maybe we'll come around here, go out there, and then come back around at some point. We'll have to work that out later on. It's going to take a lot of work, I know. Oh, that was a lot of hearts taken down. Did I really not grab any food? I'm going to have to eat rotten flesh. It's not the best sort of flesh to eat. Um, so. I, I can't really be bothered going all the way back, to be honest. So yeah, I've also set up this road, as you can see, it looks pretty good here. And we're just going to put down these and we'll see how this looks. Uh, not that way. No, you're still putting it the wrong way. There. And then let's try, let's try something here. I want to go like this. And then... And then doesn't look too bad. Could go with this. And then there. And oh, I'm just going to do this. This is going to be a lot easier going like that. And then we just come in and we cut out the parts we don't want. So this one instead goes that way. And then same with this one. And then, is it this one? It's this one. There, and this one goes the same way. It's a little tall, to be honest. I'm not sure whether I'm happy with it being that tall. What if, let me try this, let me try something else. So, yeah, because, although, if you think about it, we still got the, the um, road too, so maybe it's not too tall. Maybe it's not. We'll have to try it with the road. So let me just put this back for a sec. Ah, uh, not there. What are you? What are you doing? It's trying to mess me up. Okay, let's jump up back here. We'll put that down. Then we'll go there and there. And then we'll take this one out and put it there. And then we'll take this one out, and nope, not that one, this one. It's got to, I've got to get it right sooner or later. And then this one out, and there, and that one out. So if we have cobblestone, if we have, I uh, keep doing it. Uh, there, okay, there we go. If we have concrete, let's pretend this, this stone brick is con the concrete. So if we're walking along here, Actually, I have a pretty good view. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. And if we really wanted to, we could do this also. So, like, you can still see out of it, sort of. Um, let's just run these all the way along, just so we get a good idea of how much, how, how, how different it looks. So, we we're going to, so, let's say we're coming up here, we're like, yep, it's not a bad view at all. I don't mind that at all. Oh, now we just need to work get enough um, bones and such to make the dyes. It's going to be fun. So let's also do the same thing on the other side. Do we not have enough? I thought we had more than enough stone. Ah, there we go. Stone brick stairs. So we go there, 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 there. And then we do this. There we go. That's easy peasy. And now we come back and we switch these around. See, so yeah, I know that we're getting a little bit into the detail already. Hang on, have I stuffed this up? I've stuffed it up. Okay, so this one uh, there and there and there. So yeah, 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 as I was saying, I know we're getting a bit into the detail sort of thing right now and we don't really need to do that until we've got everything sorted out, where we want it to go and such, but 
I just wanted to see how things would look here, and I kind of I like them a lot. So it looks a lot how I was hoping it would. And I'll put that there. Is that right? Yep, that's right. And I'll put these stone bricks on. The slabs. Okay. There. There. And the other thing we could do is we could add some sort of um, like lampage. Like go into the city and there's lamps and such. But yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, I might just quickly patch this up with stone brick. Just so we, because we've got stone brick on the other side, we know where we want the concrete to go to. So let's just do that. And we'll go across here. I won't replace the grass with stone brick slabs just because it's not a permanent fix that we're doing here. This is a temporary fix. Like not, like w this is just so we know where we're putting the concrete. And it's some sort of struck um, safety sort of thing. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, so there. I'm not putting concrete in there, but I'll fill these in just so we don't fall down there too. Okay, so should we have a look at this, guys? What do, what do you think? How will this look? I mean, those look a re really random, but the actual walkway itself. Hang on, let me. Question is, do we put we'll put actual box there? Do this, and then we'll go. So these these concrete are in the wrong spot. Don't worry, we'll fix that. Um, we'll then do, do this two blocks. So the stairs will go up by two, and then they'll these this will be the actual. Um, position that the concrete will go on. So we'll go up here, so there'll be a concrete block here, so we'll go up and then up again. So let me just put this here so you guys get an idea of what I'm meaning. I hope, I, I'm, I'm hoping that makes sense. So it's going to be flat up to this point and then it'll go up one and then you'll go out into the castle gates. Yeah, that, that's good, that's good. So I might just finish up um, I'm just going to finish up this section and then we'll end this episode here I guess I mean there's not much else I can do now I do want to fill in this middle part but I've got to clear that water out that you can see down there first so I may have to go we could either go on an adventure and find a sea temple and probably die or we can just be dirt Seeing as I haven't gotten any good armor, I really don't like the idea of going on an adventure just yet. I mean, we could, but yeah. I'm just doing this, by the way, just so I can see how things will look from um, down there. So let's go like this. So I might as well do my outro while I'm here. Well, shouldn't I? Um, so yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. I want to see at least 5 likes. Let's see if we can get 5 likes on this video. Um, funny chunk stuff there. If you have any comments, suggestions, or ideas on what I can do with this castle gate, I want to, I want to especially hear what you think about this castle gate. Um, if you liked it, of course, make sure you tell me that. I'm, I'm kind of interested in how this will turn out, and I hope it won't turn out like my first um, castle did. That one was kind of bad. You can go check it out. It's under my other Minecraft playlist, I think. Let's play Minecraft playlist. It didn't turn out the best because I didn't real. I was trying to make it a square city, and yeah, well, we all know cities aren't square. So you can kind of understand why the, what the problem was. But yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Especially if they are how I can make this look cooler. Um, or just how I can make it look better in general. So yeah, that would be helpful. Um, if you have any... Um, sorry, where am I up to? I said comments and suggestions and ideas, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Um, so, if you haven't subscribed yet, of course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button too. And, oh, lastly guys, I, I haven't said this before, but I should probably say this. If you want to, you can share my videos out and tell everyone about it. Um, I also have a Discord, 
Discord channel so you guys can join me there. And we have our own website for the. Well, we did have a website before, but this one has a forum and everything, and you guys can join it totally free. Um, you can join my Minecraft server as well, totally free too. All those links will be in the description box below, uh, and you should go check them out. So, we have finished the level 80 tower. So, this is Minecraft level 80. So, let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a good look at this. I'm really not sure how that will look. <sighs> My first problem is it looks a little too round. Well, it's not even round, actually. I think I'm going to have to redo that, this one, guys. I think I'm going to have to redo this. I mean, I haven't tried putting the top on, but yeah. Oh, well. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do go ahead and hit the like button. And, yeah. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching this video. And we will see you in the next video with this awesome background behind us. It's actually coming along quite well. So, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.